Hi guys, I hope all of you are doing really well. So I'm back with another video. Now the reason why I didn't make a timetable video before is because one, I think a timetable is a very personal thing and you should always make it according to your own capacity. And second, I don't have any timetable as such because I was literally studying the whole day because as you all are aware, I was very short on time. I didn't have any waking up and sleeping time fix. So my fixed schedule was that I had to study 15 hours and that accordingly sometimes if I wake up early I used to sleep early and if I woke up late I used to also sleep late after completing those 15 hours. So 15 hours was kind of like the minimum and mostly it was more than that because in the end it was so bad that actually I mean max 15-20 minutes of the activities and I was only studying for the whole day. So yeah, I've tried to consolidate my entire routine and so that it kind of really inspires you guys as well because trust me i used to be really really productive in those days there's something so powerful about waking up at a time when everybody else is asleep and i had this small label on my alarm to make sure that i don't snooze so the very first thing I did every morning was splash my face with some super cold water to instantly feel awake. The next thing is something my grandparents always advised me to do. So I would cup my hands and take some super chilled water in it and literally dip my eyes in it and just blink for like 10 seconds to thoroughly wash my eyes. This also really helps with like eye fatigue so it's very helpful. The next thing I would brush my teeth and while doing that I would just read through all of the notes that I had in my bathroom. I would also refer to the ones on the door and as well as in the shower area and just take a quick round and revise all of the notes that I had pasted in and around that area. After that, I would sit down to study and the first subject that I used to do in the day was physics because physics requires a really fresh mind and I always prefer to do it in the morning. I used to first watch the one shot videos of whatever chapter I was doing and side by side I used to try and attempt the PYQs as well. So after finishing the one shot videos, I used to move on to properly solving the PYQs and I would take help from and refer to Vikrantha's PYQ series videos. Now my dad used to always keep fruits and nuts on my table and I used to absolutely not allow myself to get up from my desk unless I finish that particular chapter or whatever target I've set for myself. And having these fruits was a great way to not get distracted because sometimes we just end up wasting so much time figuring out what to eat and this was a great thing because you know you're eating healthy without having to move from your table or getting distracted so I would recommend this to everyone so yes me three hours ki sitting without any breaks to go thi hoti thi and I used to not let my mom come in and give me breakfast unless that particular chapter was over now while eating my food like I mentioned before I used to not watch Netflix at all because I could afford to do it at this point so my background was in bio and PYQs because physics and chemistry PYQs you need to be attentive and keep solving also along with it but bio is just so fun and so easy going that you can just eat your food and eat your food and eat your food this is just you know small things I used to do to fully properly utilize the time that otherwise would go waste in doing an essential thing which is eating here. So by this time I used to start feeling thoroughly so tired but I obviously couldn't take a break. So I used to walk to my kitchen and get some ice. I would wrap that ice in a satin cloth and just ice my face with it. And guys this was so so refreshing. And I would highly recommend it to you guys as well if you feel exhausted but you don't have the option of taking a nap. Now after that short 2 minute break, I used to move on to my 3 hour sitting for biology. For bio, I bought these tiny little 5 rupees early notebooks and I dedicated one notebook to each unit of biology. And this was really helpful and convenient because instead of having to go through the NCRTs again and again, I could just simply refer to these notes that I had made myself and they had all the important examples and notes and basically a quick summary and kind of flowchart of the entire book. In those days, even taking a bath was a luxury break time for me. So I used to make sure that I complete at least six to seven hours of uh, proper study time and sitting before I go in to take a bath. Yeah, as you all know, I had notes in the shower area as well because actually, guys, I mean, you will that I'm exaggerating, but seriously, 
कुछ भी और दिमाग भी नहीं होता था उस टाइम पे एक भी सेकंड के लिए एक्सेप्ट फॉर नीट एंड सिलेबस एंड इन इन द शावर एरिया आई मोस्टली हैड बायो के नोट्स बिकॉज बायो इज अ वेरी वॉलीटाइल सब्जेक्ट नाउ आई नो दैट फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ आस बायोलॉजी इज अ सेफ सब्जेक्ट बट द प्रॉब्लम बिगिन जब ये सेफ सब्जेक्ट भी हमारी पकड़ से निकलने लग जाता है ना आप जितना भी कह लो आपकी एन को बार बार पढ़ना इज नॉट ओनली बोरिंग एंड टाइम कंज्यूमिंग बट इट्स ऑल्सो नॉट वेरी यूजफुल एट द एंड ऑफ द डे बिकॉज आप रियलाइज भी नहीं करते एंड यूर जस्ट लाइक रीडिंग थ्रू द सेम इन्फॉर्मेशन विदाउट इट एक्चुअली गोइंग इन टू योर ब्रेन सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट माई व्यूअर्स टू गो थ्रू दिस प्रॉब्लम विद बायो एज वेल एंड सो आई डिस्कवर दिस अमेजिंग एप कॉल्ड मेमोनीट they have over 15000 questions taken from each and every line of ncert and this includes chapter summary and diagrams as well main really exciting feature of this app that sets it apart from other similar apps is its repetition technology so if you practice a certain question on the app it's going to repeat that question on the first day the third day and the fifth day to make sure that it really stays in your brain Also if you get a particular question wrong it's going to repeat and reflect that question the maximum number of times on the app to make sure that you don't make the same mistake again It's actually crazy to know that 90% of the questions in NEET 2021 came from the MemoNeet app itself So aapko books se thoda break bhi mil jayega and aapki padhai bhi ho jayegi Other subjects are getting tougher and tougher so at least by using this app you can secure your 350 to 360 marks in biology at least and if you do end up downloading it you can use my code kangna25 to get an additional 25% off if you use it don't forget to share your feedback with me i would love to hear your views as well so after that quick 10 minute bath i used to sit down to do chemistry Another quick tip that I would like to share with you all. So, especially for organic and inorganic, बहुत सारी चीज़ें याद करनी होती हैं So, whenever I had trouble doing it, I used to take a small card like this and write it down over there and stick it right in front of me where I could say it all the time. After finishing my three to four hour sitting for chemistry or whatever subject I was doing in the evening, I used to mostly go down to feed my dogs. But actually, जब एक महीना रह गया था तब तो मैं वो भी करना बंद कर दिया था मैं बिकॉज तब तो मैं बिल्कुल भी टू मिनट्स का ब्रेक भी नहीं लेती थी बट इट्स रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट गाइज टू डू सम सॉर्ट ऑफ फिजिकल एक्टिविटी एट लीस्ट फॉर फाइव टेन मिनट्स बी एट योगा और अ क्विक कार्डियो थिंक कम्प्लीटिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस आई हैड अबाउट फोर टू फाइव आवर्स लेफ्ट एंड उसमें मैं सब कुछ रिवाइज करती थी कोई टॉपिक अगर पीछे छूट गया हो वो करती थी क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस करती थी बट एक भी सेकेंड वेस्ट नहीं होता था एंड जब तक मेरी बॉडी फिजिकली मना नहीं कर देती थी आगे पढ़ने के लिए तब तक मैं नहीं रुकती थी सो so, जब तक मेरे को एकदम स्लीपी नहीं हो जाता था एंड जब तक मेरी आईज एक्चुअली बंद नहीं होने जाती थी तब तक मैं पढ़ती रहती थी एंड देन फाइनली अगर इफ आई वो कप अराउंड फाइव ए एम देन आई यूज टू ट्राई एंड स्लीप बाई एलेवन पी एम एंड पूरे सिक्सटीन आवर्स फिनिश करने के बाद जो बुक्स को बंद करने में और डेस्क से हटने में सेटिस्फैक्शन और पीस मिलती थी सो आफ्टर दिस आई यूज टू जस्ट जम्प राइट एंड माई बैड एंड बिकॉज आई यूज टू बी सो सो टायर्ड बाई द एंड ऑफ इट मेरे को लिटरली एक सेकेंड में फुल गहरी नींद आ चुकी थी सो गुड नाइट गाइस स्वीट ड्रीम्स बट वेट बिफोर दैट अ क्विक रिक ऑफ द इंटायर टाइम टेबल फॉर यू गाइस सो सिक्सटीन आवर्स स्टडी वन टू टू आवर्स मैक्स इन डूइंग पूरे दिन का मिसलेनियस थिंग्स ऑफ टेकिंग अर बात और ईटिंग और एवरी थिंग सब कुछ मिला के वन और टू आवर्स मैक्स जाता था उसमें एंड बाकी द होल डे आई यूज टू जस्ट स्टडी and do nothing else. <laughs> so yes, guys, this was my timetable. And trust me, मैंने ये सिर्फ टू months, टू months भी पूरा नहीं like one and a half months follow किया था And if you guys see this right now, and if you start implementing it and do it till like July, when I think नीट 2022 टू इज सपोज टू बी ट्रस्ट मी गाइज यू विल बी सो प्राउड ऑफ योर सेल्फ सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग गाइज आई होप दैट दिस टाइम टेबल इंस्पायर्स यू ऑल ऑल्सो टू Uh, make full use of your day because trust me 24 hours bahut hote hain and you can do a lot in it and keep going guys i love all of you so much i'm very proud of all of you all because i know how difficult it can be but just keep going so thank you so much for watching guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye